Hi friends, it's Andrew, Angela Power Disney, angelascashes.org. To my faithful YouTube followers, I'm so sorry. I've been a bit scarce um, on actual YouTube uploads um, for a while. And you know, you know, I don't need to justify that. There's many personal reasons, but um, I'm trying to get back in the saddle. And um, I feel a need, I was going to do a blog and write it, write the written word, but sometimes I'm so hard pressed on every side that I just can talk, that's all I can do. So I'm just gonna say a, a kind of intro. I've just done another interview with activist Luke McKee. He's Australian, he fled, they tried to extradite him illegally from China and he managed to escape. And like Brendan O'Connell and Julian Assange and so many others, he's a political prisoner in exile. Well, he's not a prisoner, he's, he's living in Vietnam, married to a local woman and with children and quite well safe in that environment, but also whistleblown bravely and hugely. And Luke's area of disclosure is against um, paedophiles that also are gay. And, um, you know, statistics show that over 50% of child abuse crimes are committed by same-sex people. So given that the gay community is alleged to be anywhere between 10 and, you know, Reese might say 30% of society, it's still a preponderance of, of crime against children happening from that community. So that's that's Luke, Luke himself, and he said this on previous videos, Luke himself is a survivor of um, sodomy, homosexual child rape. So uh, we each have our wounding and our passion. Um, and and it, and I'm seeing parallels with Tommy Robinson, whose name you know could not be mentioned for a while. And Tommy has taken a readjustment and said he's no longer, even though he was huge in exposing Pakistani grooming gangs in uh, a lot of England, um, and the reluctance by the authorities to prosecute for fear of being accused of racism. But Tommy Robinson has said, I am no longer campaigning against just Muslims. I am shifting my focus to campaign against a predator class, no matter what their background, anybody that's hurting children. And that's my disclaimer that though Tommy focused for a lot of years on Muslim grooming gangs, we all know that there are white middle class, upper class, elite grooming gangs. Well, anybody that's a researcher in this field knows, or a victim survivor. And um, I sent an article to Luke today after interviewing him yesterday, showing that a, a paedophile in Leeds, this was in the newspaper, I'll try and show it on the screen share, um, a paedophile in Leeds was given guardianship over the little girl that he had been repeatedly abusing. And um, he went on to continue abusing her until at 14 or something, she got pregnant. And um, she finally went to get help. And um, it was proven that he, her authorized, approved and paid guardian was the father of this baby she was carrying. And so finally she got free and, and she said to the social workers, uh, or the police, I didn't know it was abuse because this has happened to me all my life. And the excuse that Leeds County Council and Social Services gave was, oh, well, according to assessments, he was deemed a very low risk of reoffending. So this is something Luke talked about in the interview. Mm -hmm. And my, my point is, let's no longer divide along class, or culture, or uh, let's no longer divide among the lines that we're being engineered to divide amongst. Let's unite um, against people that hurt children and people that are corrupt. 
people that are blackmailed, people that money launder, people that profit from drug dealing and pornography distribution and snuff movies and trafficking, let's unite as human beings. That doesn't change my Christian standpoint. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. And that's my belief. But I don't have a right to force that on you. And so I'm going to take a chance. I, I have not monetized the video with Luke. Um, I'm going to take a chance on uploading it to my YouTube channel. Um, there, there, there are similar things and worse stronger accusations online it just depends if you're targeted or not and if i get a strike i get a strike you know i've already lost my largest youtube channel and facebook profile and twitter and so on paypal blah 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 i've already been there um and i'm shadow banned now so the thing that luke is saying and arthur similarly and a call for an uprising and different people will say, if you can't get justice through the police or the courts and your government is still hurting children and stealing trillions, you have no choice or duty but to rise up. And as a woman and a survivor, I'm anti-violence. Um, so anyway, that, that's enough of an intro. I will put a link. Well, I'm going to actually make the, I'm going to take a chance and make the interview with Luke public. Uh, and this is just a disclaimer. I'm not, I'm not pro revolution. I'm not pro violence. I do believe in end time prophecies. A certain amount of what's happening will happen according to the Bible. Um, but that doesn't give us any excuse to be fatalistic or or resigned or waiting for a rapture. Or, you know, we're told to occupy until Jesus comes again. So, um, you know, let's do that and let's let's protect however many children we can today uh, and tomorrow before we focus on. Uh, what's hate speech, what's blasphemy, and when, when is the nuclear war starting? Let's just say one child today. God bless. And, okay, yeah, I also want to say thank you to those who support me financially. There's just a handful. But I tell you this, when I don't have financial pressures, like how am I going to afford to you know get my car, through the NCT and insured, or how we're going to afford to live alone in a four bedroom property with energy prices through the roof, or how am I going to, you know, XYZ? It, poverty is a huge stumbling block to creativity and it's deliberate. So if you're living week to week, hand to mouth, wage packet to wage packet, or benefit to benefit, you don't have a lot of time to engage in critical thinking or creative activism. So I want to thank those who generously support me monthly. And if you can contribute to my work, modest and fallible as it is, there's a GoFundMe link underneath every video. And um, that's my only support platform. Thanks and God bless. Please subscribe, please like, uh, please share. There's a, there's a funny meme that where this guy is saying, I'm the last person alive on the earth. Everybody else is dead. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> but it does help. So just do that if you would. Um, you know, I have thousands more subscribers on my mute channel. And um, I just I just want to be heard. God bless.